All right, so what else can we talk about? Ah, uh, PlayStation. Oh, yes. PlayStation. The love and hate relationship everyone has with that. Let's see what's going on with play, get, um, PlayStation. Um, a state of play. Oh, shit. Good news, guys. A state of play tomorrow. Um, uh, watch this. Oh, great. It's one of those fucking American timetables. I've got to figure out what time this is in Australia, guys. Give me a second, guys. We've got to work it out here. Um, yeah, perfect. That would be tomorrow, 8 o'clock. I'll probably be up by then, so. All right. So it looks like we've got a, um, what do you call it? I stay at play now. I don't know where the hell they're going to be outputting because I don't think PlayStation's got any real good games on the way out. I'm not saying that, I might be wrong. Let's see what they got. Let's see. Um. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so, guys, this is a game, Bloodborne 2. It's been totally asked to be re, um, remastered, which I understand that. I don't really care about Bloodborne too much, but. A lot of people seem to be asking for that to come out. Can't wait for Horizon Remastered Days Gone Remastered. Oh boy. I'm so sick of remasters. Seriously, I don't like remastered guys. I don't mind remastered games every so often. But if it's something that's going to be a big thing, don't do it every five seconds. It's stupid. Um, the PlayStation, the future of the gaming. Yeah, well. If you're including the PlayStation 5 Pro, no one's buying it, so. Um, yeah, well, I don't know if that's going to be a thing. That is a, already a thing. It looks like it's all about um, Bloodborne, Resident Evil, Astro Bot. Astro Bot just came out. No, I think that's not the second one, but still. So, yeah, other than that, it doesn't look like anything spectacular. FF9 remake, I don't think that's, the, and that's not going to be a thing for the PlayStation because Square, I think Square has already said they're no longer doing our exclusives. So, that won't be a thing. It might be a game coming out, but it won't be an exclusive. But the exclusive from them guys will be completely out. I'm not sure about the other ones, the new GTA 6. I mean, I think. That PlayStation has control over all these game studios. Some they probably do, because I think some of them are their own studios. But not all of them. For example, Rockstar is the one who controls GTA 6, so that's up to them if there's another trailer. Same with um, Final Fantasy, the two Final Fantasies, which is done by Square. I don't think it's a good idea to think of them like that. I'm just having a good look, guys. Not really much here. Don't worry, I want to check a few things. I'm going to be doing this for a few minutes. Um, let's see, my wish list. Uh, Final Fantasy, oh god, what? A few of them game, a few of them blah blah blah, Dino Cross, Remastered. There's a lot of. Okay, so for Final Fantasy. Alright, some of these I kind of understand, but most I don't. Resident Evil, no, you can come back from Concord and. Uh, I mean, of course you can, you can always come back. Yeah, uh, that's kind of obvious. Right here, guys. Please note there'll be no mention of the Nintendo Switch successor during the presentation. No shit, Sherlock. PlayStation friggin' thing. Don't piss me off. Yeah, I don't really care. I don't know why people put some means that mean nothing. Uh, I don't think there's anything else really I want to talk about here. I don't think there's anything. I want to see what's on YouTube about it. Go on look at YouTube, guys. See if there's any um, information on there. Uh, look at that, guys. Zelda Master seems to be putting a bit out about Zelda, so I might have a look at that at some in a moment. Yes, yes the, the titles. titles. Now, guys, I will not be um, commentating on him. I just want to know about the game, so. 
Well, I'll come back to you. So this guy, this looks like a good channel to get some good information off, considering. All right, but first, continue for the PlayStation. There is PlayStation say play. I want to watch anything that's too long, guys. All right, let's see what the game Colossus has got to say. Well, would you look at that? The rumors are in fact true. State of Play does return tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern time, and hopefully it'll be a fairly good show, you guys. Like, at this point, my expectations out of Sony are absolutely in the gutter. Watch September 24th on YouTube and Twitch for news and updates from over 20 titles. State of Play is back tomorrow, September the 24th. Tune in. Uh, let's see, Sony will be back tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. You can't, you can't, you gotta be real careful with this stuff. For example, guys, you can, re you can't, you probably not, so you can um, record and do this kind of stuff, but sometimes the music could be an issue. And apparently PlayStation does not control it, so we'll work on the right, oh, oh, yep, they, they are open to it. That's what we mean. Well, yeah, okay, that makes live sense. Live for news and updates on more than 20 upcoming PS5 and PSVR 2 games from studios around the world. The 30 plus minute show begins September 24th at 3 p.m. Pacific Time, 6 p.m. Eastern, and at September 25th, 12 a.m. CEST and 7 a.m. JST. Oh, I already know what time that is. 8 a.m. where I am, so it's about cool. 23 hours away. So they're not saying anything like don't expect any announcements from first party, don't expect any new game reveals. Sometimes they do add that little bit of a nugget in there uh, to temper expectations. I mean, it might have something in it. Play. It's not a showcase, it's only going to be 30 minutes or a, a little above 30 minutes. It's 30 minutes too short. I think it might be. I mean, maybe not as bad as Nintendo. I think Nintendo is usually 20 minutes. Uh, if there's 20 plus games, we'll see how we go. Um, over 20 titles will be given updates on. And uh, guys, I don't think this is too tall of an ass. Look, two days after the state of play, PlayStation Pro pre-orders are going to open up. Now is absolutely the time. I mean, it's been the time for a long time. But now more than any other time before, it is time. Yeah, it's not that time. It hasn't been a time for a while, dudes. I mean, I don't think PlayStation had a lot of good stuff. I think Astro Bot's probably the exception, um, recently. Um, Concord failed the PlayStation 5 Pro, steadily overpriced because Xbox not making a, a re mid refresh. Um, because they'd rather just get to the next Xbox, which I think I know why. Time to get people excited about PlayStation First Party. And I'm going to be real with you guys, it's been a long time since people have been this down on PlayStation as far as their content output. $700 console, no big budget games, and they have nothing in the pipeline for 2025 from first... I knew it. I told you that. I just said it like five seconds ago. The console, the next console is expensive. The, basically, there's no real good games. And it sounds like they got next to nothing for 2025. So um, this is not a, a not a very good start. Also, guys, I am going to follow this guy because he seems to have some good knowledge. So which I'm going to follow. I'm going to subscribe to him. Because why not? I mean, I'm going to support all the other channels out there, including myself, because I've got no one here at the moment. Um, been about 12 minutes, so it's a good First start. Party, we know that Death Stranding 2 is coming out next year, and I'm sure that'll get a bit of an update, but what about First Party? Sony Ben, Blue Point, uh, Sucker Punch, obviously goes to Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog has yet to put out a new game this generation, and they might not put out a new game this generation. It's just not a great time for PlayStation, but certainly the issue is right now they don't have any competition, and it really doesn't... Um, is it... Yeah, it's also kind of true. They've got no competition, because I don't think Microsoft's got anything out Actually, let's do that. Let's, before we get too sucked into it, when Xbox new well, first party, sorry, first party. We've got a few here, but I don't know what the dates are. Oh, right, here we go. Should be a good amount of information. I think. Oh. Alright, so I've got a few. Okay, got Halo ongoing updates. So, no dates. This one's World of Warcraft, blah, blah, blah. I think most of that's already done. Um, why the hell is it going up? What the hell? 
I didn't do anything and it just went up. Okay. Uh, Starfield, that's already out. Uh, yeah, I don't know why it says that. It must be, yeah, that one on the other hand, I know it's not for a while. Um, there's a lot of games here that would be good, but they don't have no, um, Minecraft always doing pretty well, so that's not an issue. Grounded, Tear Thieves, Forza. They should be doing a Forza Horizon 6 by now, guys. So I'm not very happy about that. It's really not nothing really. So there's nothing about, like, Indiana Jones, um, the Gears, and all that shit. So, you know what? After we're done with this um, thing, we'll go and look at what's, what's actually happening with the Xbox. I want to get back to this. And also I also want to check on this dude, this guy, because he's from Data Master, and they're pretty damn good. So, let's go. matter if they put out any big games, but I can't remember the last time where people were this down on PlayStation and their output outside of, like, really going back to the PlayStation 3 days. I feel like with the PlayStation 4, that entire generation, people were really captivated by what PlayStation is doing. But this generation, a lot of resources spent on live service title, not a lot of first party titles, only one major title in 2023 in Spider-Man 2, zero major titles in 2024. Yes, they got Astro Bot, but that's a smaller scale game. 2025 still has nothing revealed and in 2024 their biggest thing is a 700 dollars premium console and i'm not even as down as the on the ps5 pro yeah he's got a good point guys he's really shaping a picture of where playstation is at the moment even though playstation's doing really well and they've got a lot of good stuff i'm i'm for me personally guys i'm not a playstation person i never have been back in the day when playstation first came out i stick to nintendo and they got to the gamecube and then after that, I went to the um, Xbox. Now, saying the Xbox hasn't been doing great. I mean, got, I think their um, Game Pass is the best thing about them. The consoles, uh, they're a bit off. I mean, I'm hoping they can revitalize themselves, um, get back into the games. Also, guys, it might help if I push, push record. That's really disappointing. I forgot to record on Instagram. Oops. So it's a lot of other people, but from an optic standpoint, bringing out a seven hundred dollar console with no software to go along with it for first party is just yeah, it's completely true. No software, guys, and for them, for us, it's what it's about twelve hundred dollars. Twelve hundred dollars for a console. So yeah, the only next one I think the next most expensive was the Xbox Series X, and that was only because it's a two terabyte hard drive just a horrendous 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 look i cannot exemplify how horrendous of a look that is when you're releasing a console that expensive and you don't have premier games to go along with it on top of that you're talking about horizon zero dawn remastered and days gone remastered like this is the state of playstation and some people seem like oh you're expecting too much out of playstation guys my expectation out of a showcase prior to their new console going available for pre-order is one first party game and maybe a smaller collection to get announced alongside that if at this point that is me expecting too much out of playstation what does that say about the expectation levels a lot of people have on playstation one game and one collection that would honestly make me satisfied given how much of an atrocity playstation has been for the last 18 months or so all i'm asking for is one major first party game and then maybe a smaller scale game get your remasters in there because y'all ain't putting out any new games and i will be satisfied with that because my expectations are so low out of playstation but if you're telling me that me wanting one a single first party game that's from a major studio and that is me expecting too much me saying that i want to see the reveal of sucker punch's next game when they haven't put out a game in over four years that's, that's me a expecting long time too much or wanting to hear about naughty dogs next title when they haven't put out a new game in how many years four and a half years or so that's me expecting too much like i don't think that's expecting too much what i think the issue nowadays is that people's expectations are so so low out of playstation and my expectation might just be a tad bit higher they're doing a state of play event all i want is one first party game if we can get one first party game next year death stranding 2 get all your remasters out there and maybe a collection of some of those uh, lost in the ether ps3 games bro i would be happy at this point i would be happy with that but hopefully we can set the table because at this point if they don't reveal a brand new game for 2025 from first party is 2025 gonna be another off year from playstation and first party that would be insane if you're talking no major first party releases in 2024 and no major first party release in 2025 and 
It would be a good time to also get people excited for the PlayStation 5 Pro if you had gameplay to show out of a major first party. I mean, it's not wrong, guys. I mean, me personally, I think they need more than one first party game, maybe two or three. That would be good ideal. It doesn't have to come out like at the beginning of it. They can come out, you know, say mid-year and later in the year, but they need a bit more than that, I think. For me personally, guys, I do know Xbox has got some games coming up next year as well, so that could also change things in that landscape. I will be talking about that in the next. Wait, no, we'll probably do this video first and then we'll talk about it. Party title running on the PlayStation 5 Pro. I think that would get a lot of people excited, and I do believe from a timing standpoint, there's a very specific reason on why this state of play is happening on September 24th. 48 hours before the PlayStation 5 Pro goes live for pre-orders. I think this is very tactically done, and hopefully they have a state of play event that's going to get people actually excited, because over 20 titles to look at, and if you show a Death Stranding 2 running on the PS5 Pro, if you show another major reveal running on the PlayStation 5 Pro, I think that'll get people excited, and people will want to check that console out, even at $700. And I've been very vocal about the fact that I don't think a $700 console is the absolute death sentence for sony it's perceived to be that way for a lot of people but i think if they i don't have think it's a quality sentence. lineup to showcase at the state of play event just 48 hours before the ps5 pro uh goes live for pre-order i think that will at least get some people excited i think people will be excited to pre-order the console and um, i still believe the console is going to sell out immediately obviously the 30th anniversary console is going to sell out immediately but i think the ps5 pro is going to do just fine but from an optic standpoint and the perception of playstation from the wider gaming community i feel like if you do have a high quality first party title just one i'm asking for one i'm not asking for five i'm not asking for three i'm asking for one one game out of first party after 2024 had nothing after 2023 had one game and generally actually you know what i'm thinking guys they said just one I think they need at least one decent game. I mean, if the game they make comes out and it's shit, it's not really going to help their case. Speaking, you would get two major games from first party a lot of the times. 2022 had Horizon Forbidden West, God of War Ragnarok, and Gran Turismo 7 off the top of my head. 2021 had Ratchet Rift Apart and Returnal. 2020 had a bunch of stuff as well. 2020 had a lot of stuff actually last of us part 2 ghost of tsushima spider-man miles morales demon souls which at that point i don't believe uh blue point was acquired by sony but still you had demon souls in there as well uh and 2023 and 2024 have just been so lackluster a big part of that was because of how much emphasis they put on to live service but hopefully by 2025 we can at least get one major game a ghost to something out of ben's studio who haven't dropped a game since 2019 Again, I don't feel like I'm asking for the world. I'm just asking for the baseline. One first party game and maybe one collection. Like, if they announce a uh, Ghost of Tsushima 2 and Ratchet Future Collection, clap my hands. That's good. I'm happy with that. Get all your remasters in there. Get your Horizon Zero Dawn remaster. Get your Days Gone remaster. I will be happy with that because... Yeah, everyone would be, I think. ...are fairly low. And even then, some people are going to be like, you're expecting too much. Uh, but hopefully this will be an opportunity for Sony to build some goodwill with their audience and announce some games that people are actually going to be excited for. But that's going to do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts. All right, guys. What do you guys think? I think I agree with most things. I mean, at the moment, PlayStation hasn't really got any games for that console. It's really not worth buying, I don't think. I think sticking with the PlayStation 5 is probably more worth it than anything else. Um, that's probably about it for the PlayStation. There's not really a lot talking about. It sounds like there's not much information out about the... Um, so play, but I guess we'll find out tomorrow. Now we'll be doing it tomorrow, guys.